also this is a video that I've been meaning to film for quite a while because I'm very excited to show you the new additions that I have made in my summer capsule wardrobe. There is colour for once, like this is the first time in years that I've actually purchased things that aren't just black, denim, white or grey. There is actually colour, I've gone for like a red theme going on in my wardrobe and I'm so happy with the things that I've purchased. There's kind of all different price points in there, there's quite a few things that I got from And Other Stories, I'm loving And Other Stories at the moment. There is actually a couple more things <laughs> that are due to come in the post but they haven't arrived yet so I'm sure I will show you those in an upcoming vlog. There's also a couple of bits from Netta Porter, a couple of bits from Topshop, Amazon, Whistles and then also some things from Mango which I'm actually going to return but I thought I would show you anyway because they're nice bits, I just sort of realised that they don't fit particularly well in my wardrobe or necessarily on me. So I'm going to show you those bits too so you can see what I have taken back but I'm very excited for this. Everything will be linked down in the description box below and I have done a blog post today on how to dress for summer weather if you're not exactly the biggest fan of dressing for summer weather which is totally what I am. I love winter, I love boots, I love coats, I love knitwear. The idea of kind of wearing skimpy things just doesn't massively excite me but I feel like I've managed to find a couple of hacks, a couple of things that really suit my silhouette and a couple of things which actually are going to keep me cool in the summer weather and I actually really like them but I'll make sure that is linked down in the description box below for you but I'm going to show you everything and then also show you some clips of it on myself as well but let's get started with the first thing. So the first thing are these jeans and I actually did an Instagram on them the other day because I am in love with them. My friend is messaging me now, she's like what size did you get in them? I need to get them too. They're from Urban Outfitters and they were a recommendation from Lizzie Hadfield from Shop From The Street, I'll make sure her blog is linked down below. It's awesome, she's been raving about these and they just looked like the perfect pair of jeans. If you want kind of like a boyfriend, straight leg fit, but you also like skinny jeans as well. These are kind of skinny on the top, come up nice and high waist, but then have this lovely straight leg bottom and just like the ripped kind of hem at the bottom, which I'm really enjoying. They're very similar to my girlfriend jeans, but they're a much lighter denim, which I love. So they're kind of perfect for summer when it's a little bit hotter and they're extremely stretchy as well. It's great if you're like heading to a summer barbecue or something you can fit plenty of food in them and I think I actually prefer these to the girlfriend denim ones just because they're much more comfortable to wear so I will show you them on now. I love these jeans, I love everything about them, I love that the pockets are really deep, I like that it's got this kind of whiskering sort of detail in the denim, I love the colour of it, I love where it cuts off. Um, I got these in a 28 waist 32 leg and I have to say I reckon I probably could have gone down a size they're very very stretchy but that's always like a nice thing and I feel like the length is just right it's like slightly cropped would look really cool with boots as well and I just love the wash of it I love that it's quite pale I feel like maybe I could have got away with these in a smaller size so there wouldn't be so much wrinkling going on in the butt area but they're nice and like butt lifting for this style of jean. I like that they're kind of skinny on the top and then have this straight leg. Now another thing that I picked up quite randomly sort of on their own were these and they are the Selected Femme Marley Espadrilles. Again something that <laughs> featured a lot on my Instagram in recent weeks. I absolutely adore these. These are in the beige colour I think it's called and um, someone said they look quite blushy online but they don't. They're definitely more of like a kind of nudie beige in real life. Now these are actually the exact same espadrilles that I had last year. They're kind of just the updated style and I really love them because they've got this padding on the bottom, this like almost memory foam inner sole to them so you don't have that like rope, exposed rope detail that some of them have which like rub your feet to complete bits. These took barely any wearing in, in fact basically no wearing in, I think I got a slight blister one day wearing them and now they're completely fine. I love these espadrilles, I feel like they're probably one of my favourite purchases. I love that they've got this little bit on the toe here, this like little bit of canvas, this little toe detail is really cute. The annoying thing is that they're beige suede, so I mean I've got a couple of marks on them already. I'm very like heavy on my feet, so <laughs> whenever I have like a pale shoe they always get quite dirty. But I think I'd just be wearing them with lots of outfits like this, like very kind of casual tops kind of boyfriendy fit jeans and then these on the feet. I mean, I'll probably be wearing these with basically every outfit that I show you because they're just so darn comfortable. Now I'm kind of flitting around here, but I thought I would tell you the story of my summer bag purchase. I have actually done a blog post about this, along with some more recommendations I have if you're in the market for a summer bag. 
so I'll make sure that's linked down below for you. But this is from Whistles. It's got two pockets and then also this centre bit that you could put stuff in. And surprisingly, it's very small, but it actually fits a decent amount in it and I can fit my vlogging camera in it, which is great. It's got this like long strap that goes either crossbody or over the shoulder. Absolutely loving this one. Now you would have seen this bag on my Instagram, but I just think it is so perfect. And it's like the perfect kind of holiday size and you've got sort of your two pockets there there's a pocket on the front pocket on the back and then also a bit in the middle that you could fit stuff in i haven't actually got anything in it now but like i said i can easily fit like my phone money kind of any documents you need in it and then also my vlogging camera which i'm filming on right now um fits in the back pocket really well as well so you can actually fit a decent amount in here but i just think it's so nice to have like a pop of red especially when i'm wearing like an all black outfit i think that'll look really nice to have a little bit of colour going on. Now let's talk Topshop because I feel like I can often go in there and get really overwhelmed, especially the one in Oxford Street. It's absolutely massive and online I kind of browse but I never really see things I like but I have to say the Oxford Street one has little pockets which are absolutely on point at the moment, really really beautiful. I actually picked up this skirt from the Brighton one. I really wanted this wrap around kind of floral red skirt which I've seen quite a few people wearing um, I think the frugality has it and I think Tanya Burr has it looks beautiful on them and I tried it on and it fitted really nicely it was great but it was just it just felt a little bit too frilly and a little bit too girly for me and I thought that I was buying it just because I've seen it on these other people and thought that it looked great but I didn't think that actually would fit in with my wardrobe that well but then I saw this and I've really been enjoying paper bag waists you might remember the selected femme like navy paper bag trousers I've got. I've been getting so much wear out of those, especially in the summer because they're a nice thin fabric as well. And this has that like similar waist, the kind of drawstring waist with like the little self tie on it. But it comes in a skirt and it's stripy and I love stripes, it's black and white. I can basically wear this with anything. It's got a linen mix in it so it does crease quite easily, that's the only thing. This is fresh out the wash and I actually feel like it shrunk a little bit. This is a size 10 and it's definitely a bit tighter than it was was when it went in but it's got pockets this is it from the front got the little tie I think it looks quite cool kind of to the side but yeah it definitely looks a bit smaller than when I uh, <laughs> when I put it in the wash but I reckon when I iron it and kind of stretch it out a bit it'll be perfect on to and other stories which is the website that I just can't stop buying things from I feel like I need to buy these two bits you know that are on their way they'll be coming soon which I've wanted to show you in this video and then that'll be it I feel like I need to step away and be like right okay summer capture wardrobe is is basically there I can stop after all of these things because actually this is quite a lot I don't normally buy this much for each kind of capture wardrobe but I feel like my summer wardrobe was particularly lacking because I just refused to wear anything aside from like jeans and t-shirt and shirts and I was like no I need to I need to get a skirt I need to get some camisoles speaking of which there is this and other stories number I showed this in my vlog the other day absolutely love it the one thing I would say is it is very booby I wore it yesterday you kind of can't wear a bra with it I mean you could probably wear a strapless bra but it would have to be quite low because it, it just does expose so much I definitely felt like I was constantly like looking down at my boobs to make sure they were in in place like I think I might invest in some of that like boob tape next time I wear this so you could wear this tucked in or just floating all the way down but I actually like it tucked in because it gives it a bit more security in terms of boobs not popping out it kind of keeps it in place a bit better but I love these straps it's got like very skinny like two mini spaghetti straps which I just think is so pretty so again this is one that's a bit impossible to wear with a bra because the straps are just so delicate and so pretty you don't really want to ruin it I mean you probably could get away with a strapless number because the armhole doesn't come down too low here but I just love the v-neck detail I like that it's black and white but like a little bit summery the back has a really crazy like deep v it's kind of the same on the front and the back it's like mirrored but I think that's very pretty but yeah like I said probably more of like an evening e number for me now there are two things that are in the wash which I haven't got here to show you but you would have seen them in my previous vlog anyway there's just like a white kind of cream crew neck t-shirt and then also the red shirt that I've been wearing so much like all over my Instagram that one but I'll make sure that both of those are down below for you as well and then the final thing from under the stories are these these are my like bright orangey red mules which I wore out the other day for like the first time I took them on their first trip and I have to say I only got one blister on my toe from them and I don't think that's too bad because this is quite like a hard lined suede I am um, picked up some in Topshop the other day and they were a much kind of softer leather that I can't see like cutting in or doing anything like that whereas this is definitely a little bit thicker 
pick these up in my usual size, which is a size 6, they fit true to size, and they've got a nice amount of heel on them. I sort of wore them around town and I felt like they were a little bit more glamorous than like an espadrille or converse or something that I would normally wear, but they weren't so high that I couldn't walk quickly. I mean, I went on the tube with a suitcase with these and then like came on the train home <laughs> and then walked home from the train station in these. Like, they're not so high that they make doing life things uncomfortable, which is good. I feel like these shoes are Marmite. They're kind of either gonna be a love or a hate, but I really like how they look. I love the color of them. I think the color is perfect. And like I said, I did end up with a little kind of cut here and a bit of a blister here, but it was nothing too horrendous and putting them on now isn't like crazy, crazy painful. But this is what they look like when you're wearing them and wearing them here with the, uh, the Urban Outfitters jeans. I just think they're really cool. I think they're like a nice summer shoe if like me, you like sandals, but you don't like having your foot completely out. I mean here, you could literally just paint your first three toes and you'd be completely fine. No one would ever know. So from Netta Porter is this Madewell jumpsuit, which I mean, <laughs> even if I hold it up, it's really not gonna do it justice. It looks a bit like a two-piece, so it looks like a cold, which I love. And it's got this cold shoulder detail, um, which you can adjust, which is good. It's got like three different positions and then a very cute like little bow on the arm. And I really like this. It was kind of, I love jumpsuits. I love them so much. You guys know that whenever I go on like a night out, I wear a jumpsuit, that's all I ever do. But I like this one because it's a very casual jumpsuit and it, I love that it looks like two pieces and the bottom has this really wide leg, floaty look, which is just, it's just really beautiful, it's got pockets too. Anything that's got pockets is always a good thing for me. This is by far the most comfortable piece of clothing <laughs> that I own. It's definitely got a bit of a pyjama vibe about it, but I love the color of it, I love the cut of it. It is just so comfortable to wear. And I think these arms are really cute. I love the little bow detail on the arms. So the top, when you lift it up, is actually just like cotton underneath. And then these like kind of crazy, flared wide leg bottom bits with the pockets. I can see this coming in very handy whenever I go to places that are just so hot that you don't even want to put clothes on. Now the final things are from Mango and I really like Mango. I feel like they've got some really good things in there at the moment, especially online. I'd say that in store I'm always a bit underwhelmed, but online they have some really good things. And I picked up a couple of things and I really like all of these. They're not that they're bad at all. It's just that I tried them on and I felt like I was trying to be someone else in them. I felt like they weren't really very me. Um, there was one thing that I actually do really like, but I thought that I would wear it once and then never wear it again, so it felt like a bit of a waste, but I will show you anyway, because they're all lovely things. The first thing is this dress, and I've been loving this like silk kind of tea dress look thing, and Lizzie Hadfield just did a testing basics with them, and actually put the blue like polka dot version of this as one of her favourites. So when I saw they did a red one, I was like, yes, I'm loving the look of that. I pick this up in a medium and I say that I should definitely have gone for a small. You'll see when I try this on that it's just a little bit kind of pouchy in the middle. It just, I don't know, it doesn't fit right. Um, and I really liked it. It's a very thin fabric, so very like nice and light and airy and it's got this wrap effect um, detail at the bottom, but it actually isn't a wrap effect, which is nice, so you're not gonna like flash your pants at anyone. It's worth noting that I just have black pants on and I had to go change them into something nude, because under this, the fabric is very thin, so it did show. And I have to say, trying this back on, I do really like it. It's very different for me, it's very girly, but I do think it's just a very pretty shape. I really like the shape of it, I like the frills of it, I like the red color. I think for me, it's still like when you go close up, it's still the fact that this is like butterflies just upsets me. I feel like there's definitely a gap in my wardrobe for something that's similar to this, maybe in this color, but perhaps just not with this print. And if you know what I mean about the medium size, there's just a lot of this kind of hangs. I don't really have boobs, and so there's nothing to really fill it out. So I feel like I could go a size smaller in it. But yeah, I like the length of it, I like the design of it. Like I said, it's just the kind of the close-up detail of it. So maybe I will make a purchase sometime in the future and address this shape, because I do think the shape is very nice. I picked up this top because I thought, oh, that'll look really nice, like tucked into high-waist jeans. It's got this ruffle detail down the front and then it's just um, red and white stripe. And I was actually looking for something that is red and white stripe to go into my wardrobe, because I love stripes and now I've got this little pop of red going on. I thought it would be nice, but I feel like I should have just stuck with like a normal t-shirt because I put this on and I was like, oh, it's just kind of too fussy. I'm not crazy about my arms and I felt like the ruffle detail just made 
I don't know, it sort of accentuated things which I didn't necessarily want to accentuate. I have to say trying it on again makes me realise that it's not horrendous, I just feel like it makes me look a bit wide, especially with this detail at the top, but you can see that it's cropped, so it's the perfect sort of tucking in length for high-waisted jeans. So it's not as terrible as I first thought, but I just feel like it's 20 odd quid that I could spend a bit more wisely. And the final thing I love, I saw this girl on Instagram, I think it was Deborah Rosa. She's always wearing mango. She was wearing this and I was like, oh, I love that. And this basically looks like the red like flamenco dancing lady dress in short. Look at that. I mean, it actually really looks quite screwed up on camera. It doesn't look great, but it's got these crazy billowing um, frilled arms and then it's got a little um, tie around the middle that you tie up and then it's got the same kind of frill on the bottom. And I actually really like this. It's not that I don't like this. I just knew that I would wear it once to like a summer party or an occasion or something and then kind of never wear it again. It's one of those dresses that's almost like too out there that everyone's like, oh, she's wearing her red dress again. And I felt like it was a little bit too short to wear every day. I felt like this was definitely something I would wear as more of an occasion dress, whereas I kind of wanted something that I'd be able to wear every day with like espadrilles or converse or something. So this just wasn't the right one for me. When I try this on, I feel like it just looks a bit abbery. I feel like the arms, the fact that they like spill out in that kind of way, I just feel like it's a bit too much frill. I know that's something that actually when you're wearing it or you could iron it out so it wouldn't be so like strangely triangular in the arms. But you can see it's got this little like waist belt going on and then the length looks a bit like that. I feel like for me the sizing on this just isn't right. It's very sort of baggy at the top and then a bit tight at the bottom. I need it kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, I do like it. I mean it's got pockets again. I love a good pocket. I do like it, I just don't love it and I feel like this would actually look really good, I've got it with my espadrilles on right now, um, but I feel like this would actually look really good with some like high heels as more of like an evening outlook. There's better things out there, I feel like actually the other dress looked much more flattering, so if I was to make a repurchase of anything or attempt it again, I would uh, attempt the other one over this. So there you have it, that is everything that has been added to my summer capture wardrobe recently. I'm really happy with it, I feel like they're all good things which I can easily get out summer after summer and I'm so happy with the pop of red I've really been enjoying actually wearing colour for once which is very surprising but really nice so hopefully you liked everything I'll make sure everything is linked down below in the description box for you now it's time for me to go and have a shower and wash my hair because I am sweating so badly <laughs> under these lights we're having like a mini little heat wave again but thank you so much for watching definitely check out today's blog post if you haven't already and I'll be back on Wednesday with a new vlog bye